Hello YouTube and welcome. Um, so today's video is going to be a little bit of another different one um, but it might be useful for some people or educational or some people I just might not even be bothered about it but in 2016 in February 2016 um, I got back from shopping with my wife, um, wasn't feeling too great so I had a sleep, woke up and I couldn't be, I couldn't breathe, and my, well we thought it was my asthma was playing up, um, so most blokes would appreciate, as soon as I woke up I'd go to the gentleman's to the bathroom, on the way back I just had to get on my hands and knees and well there was nothing, there was no breath. I just couldn't breathe. So my wife phoned the ambulance, and the ambulance come. Um, they put me on a nebulizer, thinking it was my asthma. And the first nebulizer didn't do nothing. Well, when she took the mask off to change the nebulizer and put a new one in to see if another one would work, I took a breath in, and that was it. I woke up in I woke up in a hospital bed um, to later find out that I had four out of hospital cardiac arrests, um, which every time that my heart stopped, they managed to get it beating again. Um, I do have a I do have heart disease, a heart disease, sorry, um, called hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Um, so what the hospital said is yes it could have been an asthma attack and then obviously with my heart being weak where my heart had to do extra stuff was pumping extra hard to try and get the oxygen and stuff around my body it just gave up um, so with my heart condition uh, they decided to fit an ICD uh, I, uh, ICD pacemaker um, because obviously at some stage my heart will need pacing because of the heart disease and just in case my heart ever stops again I've pretty much got my defibrillator already built in on standby so this is what today's video is about so the pacemaker that I have fitted is a it is a Medtronic Everett MRI SDR Shore Scan and then that's the model number DDM C3D4. Um, the MRI S stands for MRI Safe because obviously I have a lot of MRI scans because of my underlying heart disease. Obviously, whatever they put in me has got to be able to go in an MRI machine, so that's what the MRI stands for. Um, I had this fitted as you can see, date of in implantation was the 25th of the 7th 2016 which was later on in the year that I had the cardiac arrest um, they put it obviously in a chest wall on the left pectoral it only says pectoral but it is um, on my left side uh, other surgery was an unsuccessful approach for lead implantation implant which means when they tried to put the first lot of leads in, they couldn't get them in for some reason. Um, but they obviously did get some kind of leads in there. And I have four leads. And um, the type of leads I've got in there are Medtronic Capsule Fix 5076, 52 centimeters long, I'm guessing that means. And obviously they was fitted on the same time. Um, so what I'll do is I will post um, some pictures of the ICD itself, the actual what it is. I will post some pictures of the leads that I've got implanted. I'll post and I'll post a picture of an X-ray of the ICD implanted in my chest, and I will bring you back.
Right, so the next step of this video is when you've got an ICD or pacemaker, um, you have to have it checked every six months or every year. In my case, it's every six months just to get readings. Um, so on every every six months, they ask for a mobile update, which is what this sort of machine is. And you just simply take it home with you and you plug it in and all you do is I don't my one's actually still uploading because it um I had a check today and I've only just plugged it in. So pretty much I'll give you a rundown of what you do with this is you pretty much pick this piece up here, you take it off of the machine, you pull it over your pacemaker and then this screen tells you to do stuff. You just hold it there until it tells you and then you put it back on there and it uploads all the information onto um, a Medtronic database which is then sent straight to the pacing team at whatever hospital fitted your ICD. My hospital was Patworth Hospital in Cambridgeshire in the UK. Um, fitted by a doctor named Mr Heck. Um, lucky enough since I've had this ICD fitted, um, I haven't had any shocks off of it or my heart hasn't stopped again, which is good, but it's in there just in case it ever does. Um, just one more thing, this, um, which I should have stated at the beginning, but I forgot, um, this ICD was, slash pacemaker, was um, cleared for use in the USA in 2015, um, mid 2015, and it was cleared to use in the UK in 2015 at the end of the year. So um, I don't know the amount of the exact amount of figures in the UK, but I do know that there's about 2,800 of these devices fitted in the USA. Um, of this serial, you know, of this um, particular model. Um, so I hope this was um, educational or whatever not, and wasn't too boring for you guys and girls. And I do hope that none of you ever have to have one of these fitted, because um, it isn't a pleasant experience. As I was awake when they fitted it, just had to have all the anaesthetics and uh, pain relief put through an I you know the um the IV. Um and that's pretty much all I've got to say about this. Um I do apologise for the for my eyes only but underneath there's all my personal information and whatever not and I did not fancy giving that out but not that I've got anything for anyone to take but <laughs> yeah, better to be safe than sorry. But I'm sure that most of you on here are upstanding citizens and even if I did give my information you wouldn't do anything with it but there's always that one person that spoils a bunch. Um, so without me sitting here waffling too much longer, um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and have a nice day.